Hi everyone. Right, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to do this rather funky Christmas tree. And it's so easy, um, but you can do it any size you want. Um, and it's just a, a matter of folding it in the right way. So I'm just going to show you how to fold the bottom piece. All you then have to do is just make sure you cut, because you need a square. And this one I've got a 21 point seven centimeter square um which is i mean you could do a 12 12 inch square it doesn't matter start with the 12 inch square and then go down an inch each time each layer you go down an inch i haven't done mine too tall um because i like it the way it is uh so just go down every time you start with your 12 by 12 um uh, and then you can do a 10 by 10 an 8 by 8 and that would be better, that would be a nice size. It always has to be a square. And as you can see, what I've done is I've added in the creases um, a little bob, a little um, bead. And I've just used a stick pin in the top and each one is glued together. So, let me just get going. Glenda, look, I've done the Christmas tree. I'm just going to show Glenda because she was off having a tea. Well, I've just used my favourite paper, eh? Aren't you glad you finished it? Yeah, but I'm just saying, I've just used my favourite paper that I like. But it is better to use two-tone paper, you know, two-sided paper. Um, but as long as you start off with, and I'm just doing the tutorial now, um, if I would say, do your bottom layer 12 by 12, and then go in two inches from then on. So, eight by, uh, 10 by 10, 8 by 8, until you get whatever you want. You could make it as tall as you want because you you could go every um what you could take it in an inch. Personally myself I would take it in every two inches to give you that gap to enable you to put things because you can only add a little bauble in every alternate one. Where the crease goes from the side, you can't do it. When it goes in, right. then you can. Right. So I'm just gonna show you how to do one sheet and all you do is reduce the size by two inches. Start with the 12 by 12. Um, and the way to do it is fold your paper in half. I mean, you can use any paper whatsoever. You don't have to have a traditional Christmas paper. That's why I love this paper. I think that tree looks really funky. Turn it over and fold it in half again. So you've got now got four equal parts. Then you're going to do it corner to corner. Like so. Just do it corner to corner. They have to be perfect squares. Open it up and then fold the opposite way, corner to corner. Like that. And so that's what you've ended up with. Okay. And then what you do is turn your paper the right way. This is going to be outside of mine. Turn each corner in to the centre, like that. It is a bit awkward with the paper I've chosen because it's uh, striped and I can't see a blooming thing. But uh, at least I know what I'm doing, hopefully. Um, and then, like I say, you do all four corners exactly the same. You need a really good crease on them. So you've got that. This is the tricky bit, because it can be a little bit tricky. Take hold of, um, like it's in half like that, but then just get your pyramid in the centre. And it, it can be really tricky, like that, okay? So you've got that. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to turn it to one side, like that. So you've got that. And crease that. Turn it over the opposite way and crease it again and do that so you've gone all the way around like that and then what you do is this it is tricky <laughs> you have to take bend the corner where your crease is you bend that in and where this is where you've got to this corner line here has to meet this one here I know it's awkward because of the pattern paper I'm using but just bend it in, 
to there fold that in there just use your finger and then pull that corner together like like that and then crease that and you have to do that so you've got that see in the corner and you've got to do that with each one so again I know you've creased it that way recrease it the other way and pull it in to meet that there like that okay and then sorry oops mine don't want to go <laughs> they never want to go you might be able to uh, be a little bit better doing it that way see and you've got that fold like that and do the same thing again. So you're bending this one back in the opposite way. And at the same time, bring in, you have to leave it out, bringing them edges together like that. So bend that that way. Oops, a daisy, sorry, wrong way. It's awkward. Like that. And you've still got that one. And then do the same with the other side. So what you're doing is you're bending this that way. Sorry. And bringing it in like that. And it looks awkward and it is. But once you get going, it is quite easy to do. Okay. So you've got that bend like that. And then what you do is you take hold of this. So that's what you've got. It's just basically making sure that you bend them in the opposite direction to what they first folded. And you get that. And then what you need to do is drop a little bit of glue in the top half here. And I just tra it, uh, trail it in. Because you, do, you just need that bit at the top glued. And you'll see why in a minute. And then fold it in like you do. Do you remember when you used to do that? <laughs> Well, that's the section you need to glue. Because you can't glue this bit. That sits. Well, that's going to sit on the floor on this one. In a minute, when we're finished. Just glue that together. Like that. It's blooming awkward. <laughs> yeah, because you've got to fold it back again. You need to fold it one way. You'll see in the video. Um, then you need to bring that up like that. Once you've done that, you fold it again in the opposite direction and you get the original crease back. Like that. So you've got your corner bit there. I hope you're seeing this. So you fold that and fold that back how it was. And there you've got your base of your tree. So I know it seems awkward, but you're folding it one way, then you fold it in the reverse way, and then you go back to folding how it was once you've stuck the middle. And you need to do it in order to get that. So you do all of them like that. Each one a different size. Pop them all together. And then you can add your baubles in these creases. And uh, there you go. It is easy once you do it. <laughs> it's not easy trying to explain it, but... Because you fold it back on itself. It's one of those origami ones that you, you think, oh, how did I do that? So I'm going to undo it. Well, I can't really undo it because I've glued the middle. But as it was, before I glued the middle, we'll turn it back to what it was. Just turn all the uh, folds the opposite way. Right, you know, to how we had it. Which is... Like that. It was like that. Right. And then, like I say, you fold them back the way they were originally. Like that. Really good crease. So it's back in, back out, back in. Like that. Back in, back out, back in. And same again with that one. And you have the base of your tree and just continue doing that so that's just a little tricky thing slow down the do it stage by stage and slow down the video and that way you will uh, um hopefully you've seen all of that and you will get that right 
if you need it done again let me know and i will try and do it slower but it's really awkward because you the way it's folded thanks for watching i'll speak to you soon and that's what you end up with <laughs>